Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Destiny, and I'm coming to you today with August favorites. And I know it's a little late, but I've been getting everything situated with my move and just trying to get everything back on course. So I'm really happy to bring this to you, even though it is late. I'm going to go ahead and jump in because I actually have a lot of favorite products this month and a lot of like hair on my shirt or something. But I'm going to start out with some non-makeup products and they're actually going to be accessories. Okay, so the first item I'm going to show you are actually shoes. And these are from Steve Madden and you may remember these from maybe a couple of weeks ago. I did a outfit of the day and then I did a back to school shoe type of thing and I actually mentioned these. I cannot remember the name of these but the RN number is 128692 and they're from Steve Madden and I actually purchased these from DSW. The reason I like these so much is they kind of have the almond toe so it's not too pointy or too round. It's very comfortable for your toes. It has the hidden platform so that's really good for the heel and ball of your feet. And then um, Cheetah is really, really, really popular this season. It's a trend. It's also a classic. Animal print is something that you can always get away with if you know how to wear it. And with shoes like these, it's actually just effortless. You just put these shoes on with some nice nude outfit or a bright colored outfit or jeans, shorts, t-shirt, anything. My next item is actually this belt. And I got this belt from Target from, I think it's Mossimo. I want to say it's Massimo, but it's a really, really nice cheetah belt, and it actually is very, very similar to my shoes. Um, I don't know if this is real hair, but I know on my shoes it's real cow hair, and this belt is actually authentic leather, so it's a really great belt. I got it from Target for really inexpensive. It's a skinny belt, so it's right on trend, and this is something that you can wear with lots of different outfits, shorts, pants, skirts, dresses, whatever, and I've been wearing this belt like crazy. My next item is actually this bag right here and I actually purchased this from Aldo a month or so ago and it's just a nice pink clutch with big flower applique and it has like a long strap. This is also leather, genuine leather and um, I really like this belt, this bag. You can wear it over your shoulder, you can put the chain inside the bag and wear it as a clutch, you can do whatever you like. I wear it a lot with jeans and tees or um, bodycon skirts and like a little cute leather jacket. It has lots of pockets. It's one, two pockets that zip and then four pockets on the inside that you just slip stuff into and then it's just a really cute bag so you can carry it with your strap or even under your arm but I've been wearing this one like crazy. Okay so as many of you may or may not know I now live in California and it's really really hot and sunny out here like every day all the time. So a good pair of shades or sunglasses is definitely going to be something that you really want in your wardrobe. And I have three pair of sunglasses and I love them. And they're actually all from uh, RetroCitySunglasses.com. I love these right here. These are like kind of the cat eye, tortoise shell, um, really, really, really cute glasses. And you know what? These are actually not from Retro. These are from H&M. And I really, really like these a lot. Uh, I think they fit my face really well. I like the thick plastic frame. They block out sun, but they can you can still see my eyes. So when I'm speaking to people, I don't feel like I'm being completely rude and you can't see my eyes. But I really like these a lot. These are from H&M. And then I know that these are from Retro City. And these are also kind of the tortoise shell kind of way far are, um, kind of Ray-Ban type glasses. Like these a lot. These are classics. And they look good uh, dressed up or dressed down with any outfit for any occasion. And then I like these when I want something a little bit edgy, really cute kind of um, squared off cat eye glasses also from RetroCitySunglasses.com. So definitely go ahead and check those out if you're interested. They're really, really great prices and they're really cute and they have really, really large variety of choices choose from. Okay, so I am really happy to actually show you guys my next two products because they're skincare and I get a lot of questions about my skincare and I have a video coming up I promise you. I just want to show you two of the products, well three of the products that are instrumental in um, my skin health. The first is definitely the Clarisonic and I'm going to go ahead and take this head off because it's all wet and it's going to drip. Um, my Clarisonic is actually a really really great beauty tool and I've been using this for about a month now and I absolutely love it. 
and it's definitely something that you would want to consider investing in if you are having skin problems and you try a lot of different things especially if you have like acne or if you have white heads or black heads this is going to be something that's really really great and then as far as face wash and then moisturizer i've been using my Ephiclar la roche posay and this is for um purifying your skin if you have acne and sensitive skin i don't have sensitive skin but it could never really hurt to use something like this. It's paraben free, the pH balance is 5.5, so it's not gonna over dry you or over oil, oil your skin or anything like that. And it's also soap free, so if you are one of those people who have you know, sensitivity to soapy products, something that's too sudsy, it's gonna dry your skin out, you'll love this. And if you have oily skin, you definitely want to look for something that's gonna be soap free and pH balanced, otherwise your skin is gonna create way too much oil than it can handle and you're gonna start with your breakouts again. And then after that, I definitely use my Ephiclar Duo. Now, I've, I'm new to this product. I've used the Ephiclar AI and that's a spot treatment. This is an acne treatment, a dual action acne treatment. And I really, really like this because it's just as effective as AI, except for you get a lot more. <laughs> And um, it has a lot of the same ingredients, like the 5.5 benzoyl peroxide. That is awesome. And then it also has 0.4% uh, of micronized um, exfoliating LHA, lipohydroxy acid. If you don't know anything about that, that's going to treat your breakout. It's going to also help your skin to not hyperpigmentate or have a thick, oily, porous appearance because it's exfoliator and that is great for your skin it's definitely something I use all the time you can definitely check out derm store for these products I will have a link in the bottom bar again this is Epiclar duo and I have been loving this this month my next two products are actually foundations and if you watch my videos you know that I love makeup forever HD in 178 that's my color however I've been trying to use something a little bit different lately because I began to use the Sephora uh, powder foundation over my liquid foundation so I can wear a little bit of each and not look made up at all except for the Sephora um, foundation is great and I, I don't even have it I'm color D65 it's the Sephora powder excuse me foundation the reason I'm, I've changed my colors okay so this is a really red um, 180 and this is 177 when I mix these together it kind of comes up with a color that's similar to 178 except for you can control the saturation I bought this I think because I got darker and I wanted to see if it would work out but it's just a little bit more red than 178 not so much darker and then I got 177 because it's kind of neutral it's more toward warm than cool but it's really a neutral color and what I like to do is apply this all over my face and then dust my Sephora powder foundation and it gives me a less saturated look than the 180 would give me alone and then when it oxidizes it doesn't get as red as 178 and then 170 by, 177 by itself is just too neutral. I hope I have not confused you because I've kind of confused myself. But that's pretty much what I've been experimenting with, kind of using like my foundation soup skills. My next uh, products, actually, I'm going to try to show you fast because I realized that I talked for a while about my skincare. But I love that stuff. So I've absolutely been loving Carlos de Roma. Def I can't even, I never can say this right. Definitive. Um, FX and mascara. I also like um, there's another one from Carlos de Roma. I really like these because they have the kind of plastic um, applicator and it's really really great to get in the bottom and really maneuver and get them all over your bottom eyelashes which is why I like those type of brushes. I've also been using the e.l.f. mineral infused mascara. I like this one. The brush is very similar. It's a little bit fatter and more flimsy than the one I just showed you. And this one's only $3. But I think the Carlos de Roma, the first one, is about $3 or $4. Um, I got that from Dwayne Reed. I've also been loving my liquid eyeliner. Now, these are not even the favorites of the month. The favorite of the month is from Stila. And it's their 24-7 eyeliner. And it kind of has like a spring-loaded cap that kind of refreshes the tip with products every time you go to use it. I absolutely love that. I cannot find it right now, just like I cannot find my Sephora powder foundation. But I love these. This is the Revlon Color Stay Liner, and I actually really like these. Um, I actually really like these when they get dry because you can dip them in gel or cream liner, and the felt tip is just a really, really good 
uh, way to apply your liner if you're not very good at it. The next few brushes are actually uh, one from e.l.f. This is the Flat Top Bronzer. I've been loving this for my foundation. Buffs like a dream. And then this is the American Painter 4450 Chisel Blender. And I absolutely love this for eyeliner and any type of detailed eye work. It's really, really small. It has kind of like a square tip. It has give, but it's also kind of strong to be such a small brush. And then this is a blush brush from Sony Kashuk. And this kind of reminds me of, of a little bit of a bigger, less dense 109. And I really, really love the 109 brush. And this does not take the place at all. It's not a dupe whatsoever. But it kind of has a feel. Like maybe it's its bigger cousin or something. I like to use this to kind of do washes of color, contour my cheeks, apply blush, and then blend out the powder all over my face. This is a really good brush for that. Um, I've, this month I've been looking all over the place for new setting powders and finishing powders and I found two really really great ones. I wanted to kind of replace my Makeup Forever HD because it's a little bit more expensive than I want to spend. I found something that's less expensive but it's somewhat in the same family. I think this was like $25, $28 and this is the Tarte Smooth Oper Operator and it's a micronized clay finishing powder. And it's basically like really finely, finely, super finely milled and you dust this all over your, your foundation and your skin looks flawless, you look poreless, your skin looks smooth and just really beautiful. I love the packaging. It has one hole so when you tap it, little bit of particles pop open. When you open it, you never have to worry about super overflow. I mean, there's some in there, but it's not too much. So I like that a lot. Next powder is the Victoria's Secret uh, Flawless Effects HD P Powder Perfecting Duo. And I really like this a lot because it has three finishes. It has luminous, matte, and shimmer. The only thing I don't like about this is the brush. The brush absolutely sucks. It's really, really hard. It makes the product fly. It's rough, it's scratchy. So what I usually do is I take the product in whatever finish I want and I usually choose luminous. I tap it onto something hard and then I use it with another brush. I really wish that they would change the brush for this product because it's actually really good. Okay, so as always, I have some favorites that are going to be my favorites. My Makeup Forever uh, 5 Color Concealer Palette with the Corrector. I absolutely love this for Makeup Forever. Been loving it for months. My uh, NYC Color Real Mosaic Face Powder and Scarlet Letter. I actually have that on my cheeks right now and in my eyelid area. On top of that, I actually have the Milani Bake Blush and I actually have a whole big Milani haul coming up. This is called Fantastico Mauve and I absolutely love this. I have it on my cheeks right now. Hopefully you can see. And then on my lips, I have on Revlon Just Bitten and the color is... Um, Beloved. Beloved or uh, adoration actually. And then I have like one more brush that I've actually been loving. I use this under my eye. I use it as a wash of color. I use it to highlight and contour and do a whole bunch of different things with. This is an upstage brush. I actually got this from Dwayne Reed as well. I've absolutely been loving my Brazilian Keratin um, Therapy. I use it in my real hair. I use it in wigs and weaves and it makes all of the different textures of hair very soft and very moisturized so i've been liking this a lot especially in brazilian hair if it even is brazilian the brazilian hair um i actually love to use that serum in there because it seems to work really well i want to make sure i didn't forget anything and it doesn't seem as though i did i have like two more favorites they're brow powders one is max down brown and then the other one is jane's brownie points this is kind of like a dupe for the other i think down brown's a little bit more warm but I've been using them in my brows for over a year and I really, really like them a lot. I actually have one more product. This is the Revlon Brow Fantasies and this is a brunette. And then the pencil here is actually from Carlos de Roma. Carlos de Roma, he also made my mascara. He makes a lot of really great things. I don't really know where you can find his products outside of New York, but if you ever do see them, definitely give them a try. They're really good. So I really love the brow gel in here and then this pencil. I kind of just draw it in, fill it in, then I use my powder. And then I take a little bit of this and I brush it on top. It kind of lightens my brows and it helps them to stay in place. And now that I finally have finished showing you all my products, I want to say thank you so much, as always, for commenting, rating, and subscribing. I really, really appreciate you guys coming 
to watch my videos as often as you do, even if I may make too many at times. I hope that you always do appreciate them. I want to thank you again for commenting, rating, and subscribing. I'll be in touch and hopefully you'll do the same. Bye.